Hello, my name is Luke Gardner and I am an Accessibility and Digital Inclusion Specialist at Athos. In this video, I will go over a quick introduction to the Web Content Accessibility Guidelines, also known as WCAG. So as I've established, WCAG stands for Web Content Accessibility Guidelines. They were created by the WAI Working Group of W3C. The WAI Working Group is the Web Accessibility Initiative and it's created by the World Wide Web Consortium to address accessibility standards for web content. The first version of WCAG was WCAG 1.0, which was published in May 1999, but was HTML specific. So nearly 10 years later, in May 2008, WCAG 2.0 was released, which updated to reflect technology at the time and also removed the reliance on HTML. This way the guidelines still remain relevant, even though web technologies now evolve rapidly and change all the time. WCAG 2.0 compliance has been implemented as a legal requirement around the world. More recently, a small update was added to WCAG in the form of WCAG 2.1, which adds some mobile and touchscreen specific guidelines. This is slowly being added to laws as they are updated. So we know about WCAG, but what actually are they and what purpose do they serve? The Web Content Accessibility Guidelines are a set of recommendations for making all web content accessible as well as easier to use for people with a large variety of disabilities. The guidelines themselves are written as testable statements and are not language specific. This means it's easy to take the guidelines at face value and jump right into implementing and testing them. The guidelines offer three levels of conformance. So the three levels of WCAG compliance are Level A. These are the easiest set of guidelines to implement. Applications are somewhat accessible at this level. Level AA is the standard for accessibility. It adds some more complex guidelines, but are still easy to implement once they are understood. Level AA compliance is required by law. So for example, the Equality Act 2010 in the UK references level AA conformance. Applications are considered accessible at this level. Finally, we have level AAA. These are a complex set of guidelines that target specific cognitive and learning disabilities. Level AAA can overlap with other guidelines. The publishers note it is impossible to actually conform to all AAA guidelines at once, and generally we do not test or implement these guidelines. As of WCAG 2.1, there are around 50 level AA guidelines we have to test for. To help understand the levels of compliance a bit further, think of your website or application as a ramp. At level A, the ramp is bumpy. It's possible to get up it, but it takes significant effort to get over the bumps and up the ramp. Level AA means these bumps have been removed and you can quite easily get up to the top of the ramp. Finally, level AAA means the ramp assists you with getting to the top. And with that, we've taken a look at WCAG, what it is and why it's important. These guidelines mean people with disabilities are provided with equal access to web content. Without them, some people may be unable to use websites at all. Thank you for watching. I hope you found it useful.